no rain fly. Yay. Even though you have the rain fly off, you still can't really see the stars clearly because you still have the mesh. So it's not like I'm re I can really gaze up at the stars. They're kind of blurry. If I don't take an Ativan, like a little quarter of an Ativan, not a whole Ativan, which I was doing more often on the beginning of the trip and now I'm just trying to sleep through it, I, I do wake up, I mean, I'm probably awake like 18 different times through the night. You're kind of balancing on this rubber mat, right? You have to sort of rotate your whole body or your body's aware of that. So we have about 80 miles left. Another gorgeous day. So oh, pretty. There were no mosquitoes here. It was like the cleanest feeling of just getting in and out of your tent. It would be fantastic if this was clean water. The whole bicycle ride on the Weezer River Trail was still beautiful seeing the water. I don't like the sleeping bag. I think I've already told you. It didn't keep me warm and cold below the the degrees that it's rated at, not even close. And I don't like how it's super tight mummy style. You just get knotted in it when you're twist, if you're flopping a lot, twist around your body. So what I do, it is designed to be ultra light. They're trying to not run the zipper all the way down. This adds weight. So if both of these are all the way up, I can just only like zip the bottom. Let's say the bottom part of your body's hot and keep the top zipped. You know, it's kind of a cool thing. These zippers I really struggled with. I, I know they're trying to go ultra light, but this whole, this whole string thing didn't work for me. I was always like, wait, what am I on? Am I on the inside one, the outside one, the bottom one? Like if you weren't looking. So the zipper one night, I'm pulling on it and it had gotten caught way over here. And this is where it ripped. I put tape there, wow. It's incredible that this electrical tape stayed on this. It's meant to be slept where the zipper's on the side. I flipped it upside down. Just my feet would go in the bottom and then the zipper pretty much started at maybe my knees. I'm 5'10", so. And then I used it as a blanket. And then when I rotated, it, at least just my feet would stay in, my lower legs. But my this didn't get all knotted around me. And I do prefer the, the blanket style option sleeping bags. This was specifically purchased based on its packability and its weight and its temperature rating. Yeah, nope, not 32. Nope, nope, nope. Time to pack up and head towards Weezer and maybe there'll be a diner that knows how to make breakfast. If it's really dirty inside, I turn it inside out and shake it to get everything out of the inside. But when it's just not bad inside at all, I just do this. That's also a great way to dry it. I'm gonna show you how I do this tent. Re-zip the door. So you want the teeth exposed. I take one end with one end, one with another. See, I'm protecting the yellow, the mesh. The heavy buckles are on the one end. My uh, ground sheet, I'm very aware of putting it on the exact same side each time. I fold it into the middle and then I do it because I want the crease to be completely tucked in case, especially if there's mud I used to pack these things up tighter but since I have less carrying less food less water I can just kind of do it regular which is really nice not having to be so particular the electrical tape has been like amazing it's just holding it's incredible and we already talked about this in an earlier video about how this Revelate it should be at like a little bit further apart. It does have those little um, connections there, but it doesn't have one on this side, see? So, yay, they're dry. I put them in the sunset, and then when that was done, I faced them towards the sunrise so they can dry while I'm sleeping. How'd my bag do? That's just the bottom peeling, the coating over the fabric. <laughs> at least there's no wet chocolate in there. So, so far the Wahoo is not impressing me with the things I really loved about the Garmin. 
So I want to load up my ride from yesterday, but it won't let me go to my history since I have the ride recording today. I want to get that ride up, but I can't unless I was to end my ride today right now and start it over from where I'm at. I think Garmin let me do that. I just pulled over in the shade to see if I had service. I could have waited like two miles from now, but this is another one of these moments that's in my favor. I'm turning around because I don't need to go to uh, Weezer. I can Google drive it. So I'm getting off the Weezer rail, the Weezer, Weezer, the Weezer River Trail. Gonna get on beautiful black tarmac, nice country roads, surrounded by corn and sunshine. Like a mailman is gonna come flying by me. What an interesting job compared to when you think of the people like in New York City. Two totally different mailman experiences. It would be the same with being a policeman. The jobs are day and night between a New York City cop and a little country town cop. Well, what do I know? Maybe the country town cop is busting up a lot of meth labs, pit bull fighting rings. Oh, brown. Looks like Louisiana water. I think there should be a crocodile down there or alligator. <laughs> Rough road, remove dentures, tighten bra straps. Welcome to Cove Road. Merging into 95, this is a much busier 95 than the other northern sections I was on. Thank you, Payet County. It's so clean and wide. So even though it's 65 miles per hour and there's a fair amount of traffic, you can get way over. I feel totally safe. The Maverick gas station's pretty fancy. I just took a poor man shower at Mavericks. And there was a woman having a conversation with someone while she was on the toilet. And then I flushed and I heard her, she had to tell the person because it was so loud. Like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm chatting to you while I'm sitting on the shitter. I didn't eat dinner last night. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So I'm gonna go to, I think it's called the Hideaway Grill. Hopefully they don't know how to make breakfast. The Hideaway Grill. My first impression is if I own this place, I'd have to sweep this up. Those are all dead bugs. So hopefully they're more uh, aware in their kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> it's total old school. Like, this is the small one, it's 550, very reasonable. And then I got one biscuit and gravy, which was $3, that looks really big. Oh my God. <laughs> the Highway Grill knows how to make breakfast. Cooked bacon, but a lot of times that's how people like it, so that's how they serve it. And you usually should speak up if you want your bacon a certain way, and I didn't. Pancake, outstanding. Golden butter was delicious. Syrup was delicious. So I didn't get the regular pancake breakfast, which would have been two pancakes for seven dollars, because I wanted to try a biscuit and gravy. If I've seen it on the menu ever on these on these travels, and I never get it. I would prefer more pancakes, uh, probably because of the sugar, my sugar addiction. <laughs> I get to have more syrup or something. The prices. If I was in any of these other places it would have been like 11 bucks it was meticulous inside by the way even though the outside of the door was nasty bathroom meticulous tables floors meticulous the wait staff was fantastic maybe the owner or the manager let me plug in by the register so i was plugging my phone and my bike computer while i was eating and then this these girls who were in law enforcement just started chatting they were like in a booth across from me they were so fascinated with bike packing and touring and how do i shower and where do i carry food have i ever been concerned about being turned into a a lampshade. I was like, no, I haven't thought of that, but thank you for planning that in my head. They were shocked I wasn't holding. I told them it wouldn't fit on my bike and it's really heavy to carry a gun. It was just really the grizzlies or having someone run you off the road because they don't like cyclists on the road. Those are really the two biggest dangers. And I said, and if I ran across a weirdo, I may have. I don't know if someone has potential thoughts of tying me up in their basement, but I told them the steps I take that I'm very aware of someone's talking to me, my distance from them, the guy that I got in the truck was very aware of where the lock was. What you can do if you ever get in a stranger's car is roll the window down, even if you don't want it down. But like the guy who picked me up in the truck to go see his wife, we don't know if he had a wife or not. So I didn't go in the house and I kept my distance. I looked around if I had to run. Like I do all that really fast though. I've been training myself over the years. It's not a thought process for me, it's automatic. And anyway, they were so engaged. One girl's like, oh my God, you need to write a book and you could have your own show. I would watch your show. They come from law enforcement, so they have a, a ton of stories as well. This is just a different thing for them, right? They weren't really engaged in any outdoor activities. Anyway, they were just so wonderful and engaging and fun. Like if I lived here, I'd want to be friends and hang out with them. Hey, this is a majority of what Route 52 looks like between Payette and Emmett. So there's not a lot of space. It's clean though, and there's plenty of room for cars to get around me. Corn! <laughs> Isn't that great? 
Oh my, my hand shaking is so hot out and I'm just pushing through this. That's what I love about road biking is you just get into that, that rhythm. Go, go. And it starts to get a little easier, but it's still always a workout. I probably took gels five days out of this trip, spread out over six weeks. I just really like pushing through it, even though it'll give me a bump and help me. I'm the person who, if I was to get a headache, which I never get, I wouldn't want to take an aspirin. I just want my body to figure it out, fight through it. I like, never get sick. I never get colds. I have a really strong immune system from biting my nails for so many years, <laughs> sticking my fingers in my mouth with all those years in New York City. <laughs> I would suck my two fingers when I was little. I've been sticking my fingers <laughs> in my mouth since I was born. I'm not really the nail biter. It disappeared maybe like eight years ago and then I went to pulling my eyebrows out. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. So now I'm just taking, I'm just finding an excuse of things to talk about because I'm just taking a moment to. Okay, I believe we follow 52. I was talking in an earlier video about, you know, the term is rolling resistance. Here we are in smooth, less vibration through my body, through the bike, it's gonna roll more. When I go in here, push a little harder more vibration. So just that little bit, even though that's all packed, because it has texture, you're just gonna use a little more of your energy. Try to find that sliver. See how skinny? And I'll ride that. Whew, yikes. It's 92 degrees outside. Do you wanna know how I know? It's over 80 because my vagina is on fire with padded shorts. And also I'm doing a lot of revolutions. When it's a certain temperature, I know. <gasps> she said the word vagina. It's like saying the word penis, right? People are just so uncomfortable with names of our body. I don't know why. So penis, 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 penis. Vagina, 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 vagina. <laughs> I'll help you get over the stigma. Every once in a while, I get a really strong smell of like softener, like somebody's doing laundry. Just dumping into Emmett, Idaho. Huh, I'm not really sure where I'm going. All right, I'm gonna look on my map. I have like a, a thin layer of dirt on the road, the cars that are going by. I give myself a facial, just add a little water and smear it around. I looked on warm showers, but their app just sucks. There was no one here. Just winging it has always kind of ended up working out. I'm at Family Dollar. Sodas, $1.90. The original store, everything was supposed to be a dollar and you'd get good deals. But then these other coffee stores came out, used the term dollar in their sign, but it's it could be like $5. It's completely changing the whole concept. It's the last night. Yay! I don't have to sit at my tent again. When I wake up Monday morning, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to pack, compress anything. All right, enough chatting outside the, the family multi-dollar. I was told Main Street is this way. Oh, here it is. You can see the old brick. Um, it's old, but clean. Smaller than I thought it would be. The inside of the shop seem really old. There's a fair amount of storefront, empty. Look at this, it's fantastic. Oh, how sweet, this little museum. I came in on the old side of town where everything's more run down. On the east side of downtown, it's fixed up, lots of trees. I don't mind artsy and cute and a little run down, but coming in, people just left a ton of shit in their yard. Yeah, huge difference. I decided to swing by Albertsons. Oh good, I can get all the grit off my face and hands. I just finished taking another poor man's shower <laughs> at Albertsons. Every opportunity you can get. It's great when there's two bathrooms and they're not designated male, female. Cause then I'm not holding up like just the female bathroom. Your guess is as good as mine where we're sleeping tonight. I see the climb. It looks like a gradual grade. And then at the top, it looks like there's like white trailer or something's up there. So maybe that's a spot I can camp, which would actually be nice. Oh, Mr. Cow sitting in the water. They must be a special kind cause they have the fuzzy ears. And look at this big furry guy over there. Oh, beautiful. And there's a little baby. Look at him. Looks like a sheep cow. So Google Maps, whether I put in car or bicycle, it's telling me to take this, which is a zigzag steep up through these, and then it connects. Because I guess it's considered shorter, but I would have rather just taken that. Hell, I'm all the way over here. I feel like I just need to take this. Gonna have a little grind ahead of us. Hi, baby Moomoo's. Oh, you're so sweet. It's not too bad. Well, that's what I said now, and now it's gonna get stronger grade. It's like 7.15. Oh yeah, okay. 
and I guess no more views. I could camp there, and we're on that thing. I don't know. Shoot. There's some park across. There's a brown sign over there. I think we're in BLM land. I think I see a camper in the distance. Okay, I think I can take my shot. What does this say? It's BLM land, so I can sleep anywhere. Little Gem Cycle Park. Huh, should I just go back in there? I'm only 30 miles from Boise, so since there's not a hurry, I should just stay out here. It's a really nice finish because it's for the last night. Let's do it. So far I keep seeing do not enter, no trespassing, do not enter. So the question is where is the park and where is the BLM land? I may have made a bad assessment. And a no trespassing. But this is all dirt. And there's farmer's fence along it. I don't know how far it goes in like the farmer's fence. Like other places I've pulled in at CBLM, I mean it's pretty much like just open. And I'm not interested in biking on a dirt road right now. It just coats my legs and my feet and everything. I just feel so gritty, like to go to bed. And I feel nice right now, so it's a choice between what kind of dirty feeling do I want to have? And I'd rather have just a fine uh, road dirt. The sun is still plenty high and we don't know where we're gonna end up once again. The guy I texted, I think it was a warm shower guy, not a couch surfer. He did respond, said he could host me tonight. Yay, last night should be a tent, shouldn't it? Whee! This is gonna be fun. Cause it's all downhill. Here's the road and I saw this area it's for sale i'm just afraid to keep going because it starts to get more industrial way out there two little old homesteads over there i was thinking of a church but guess what tomorrow's sunday i'd be on the grounds <laughs> all these people would be showing up for service look it is flat shallow gravel oh my gosh and look at our view this is fantastic i do wish i had more water I keep screwing up with that i have half a liter and that's enough i have a sandwich and i can tuck right in here Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Once again, we landed on our feet by winging it. I don't think people are really looking over in this direction, but all I need is some asshole calling somebody. I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, I really would never even really think this way. It's Saturday night, people are busy. If anyone has the time to say, hey, Joe, at the sheriff's office, there's a tent over there on that property for sale. Might wanna go check it out. Hopefully Joe has more important things to do. Check out this sunset. Oh. Our last night together. I could get emotional if I really thought about it. It's not over actually. Tomorrow I'm still biking. I'm not back to Boise yet. My tent is, is coming in because a big wind is picked up and it's going to tip over because I don't have it staked. 